Okay, so in my internal search for a new case, I've come across the 400C. And this video will be talking about the 400C mostly, but it will be doing it as a comparison to the other cases that might be available to you. And what I've got here is my old computer, which is a 750D, a 570X, and a 400C. Now, I'm going to sum up my views on the 400C. I love it. It makes me excited to want to build my computer in it. It's just the perfect size and I just all around love it in so many different ways. I just want to use it, but I am currently leaning towards the 570. You will understand why as you use more of this video, but let's get stuck in, shall we? Okay, so the first thing to understand about the 400C is that it is not the 460C. Not only that, but it is not the old 400C. Okay, so, a lot of people will tell you that the 460 is basically 400C with tempered glass. But the 460X is actually one and a half centimeters longer. However, that has not stopped Corsair from changing the 400C to match the 460. As you can see here, you've got, the, you've got those stupid, you know, screw holes up above for no real reason here. I mean, a lot of reviewers will tell you that they put these screw holes here uh, because of the tempered glass but they've done it on a non-tempered glass version as well. Not only that, but they've changed the CPU hole and you've got that new fancy pattern on the air filter. And of course, finally, what you've got is smaller corner structures to allow better mounting of radiators. So it's important to note right here that the 400C you will buy tomorrow, for example, will not be the same 400C that is reviewed in a lot of other people. Not only that, but you should ignore people who say that the 400C is the same as the 460, because it is not. Okay, so now that that's aside, let's actually talk about the size of this case. Let's actually talk about the 400C a little bit and describe it. So, <clears throat> as you can see here, I've actually put these side by side, and you can see that the 750D on the right hand side there, you've got the 570 in the middle, and the 400C at the end. And the 400C is anything up to 10 centimeters shorter than the 750D. And again, in terms of width, the 400C is anything up to 10 centimeters shallower, which is insane. That is an insane amount of space that's been taken off of my computer. I mean, that is just. I could only dream of having that amount of space taken off my computer. And you might be worrying as I worried as well with this, whereby you might think, oh, would my graphics card actually fit in a 400C? You know, with the radiator, with the fan. Um, also, not only that, but what if graphics cards get bigger? You know, okay, so right now, what I've got is an Asus Strix 1080. That is the biggest card on the market. It is about 30 centimeters. It is huge. And it will fit, in this case, it will fit with a radiator over here, a fan over here, and it would be one millimeter away from fitting another fan on top. That means that there's only one millimeter difference between allowing a push-pull configuration here and an Asus Strix 1080. Which means that you've got nearly 27 millimeters of free space after your graphics card for it to expand. Which, you know, is good. Not only that, but if you go, let's say, seven years in the past and get a Radeon HD 5970, <clears throat> you will find that that card was actually, I think it was 31 centimeters. So the largest card on the market has actually dropped by one centimeter in size. So graphics cards will only go smaller so you don't need to worry about whether or not your components will actually fit in this case. Because they will. And in the future, this case is actually going to be far more future compatible than, say, the 570 or the 750D. So, already, this 400C is off to a good start. Very good start. It's perfect fit, perfect all this, perfect all that. But there are some issues with it that actually make me turn around and choose the 570. Some of it is just sort of like where Corsair decided to cut a corner. Some of it is sort of just random little things, basically. One thing that gets me is this front panel. This front panel clips on, and the clips are really stiff. And not only that, but I've been reading on the internet that 
the clips are prone to breaking. A lot of people complain that their 400C clips break. Um, more than one person, I'd say, you know, I, I experienced at least like 10, 20 people who said that their 400C clips break. And this is why, I'll show you now. Ugh. There you go, you see how nasty that was to get it off? How violent that was? In fact, actually, this is another point about that front panel. Don't ever take it off when your computer is on, because if you do, you have a chance of damaging your fans. But anyway, getting back to this, you can actually see it's held on by clips. But the problem is, is that those clips are actually a bit sort of bent already from just using the case. And what people complain is that the clips bend enough that they break eventually. And that's the first point with the, you know, with the 400C. That's, that's probably one of the biggest points that actually makes me not want to use this case. If they had a better front panel, I would jump on this case and I would hump it, basically. Um, a minor point is sort of quality. So underneath here, underneath the acrylic um, side panel, you'll find that it's actually bent. So the top of the panel is perfectly fine, perfectly straight, perfectly everything. But the bottom of the panel is actually bent and actually contorted a little bit for some odd reason. And then, of course, the third problem is the fact that for some odd reason, they've decided to bring those covered screw holes from the 460. I have no idea why they did that. But there is also a fourth problem. Now, if you've got a smaller PSU, this does not concern you and you can ignore me as much as you like. But I've got an RM1000, a slightly older PSU, and its fan, even though it would actually fit kind of into here, it would not totally, and it might actually cause heat buildup in my PSU, which could actually cause it to overload. Now, the other little minor thing is that this air filter is really cheap. I have no idea why they didn't do the same air filter as they did on these other cases here. Why they just kind of, you know, this is a hundred pound case. It's not. It's not really cheap. It's not like 60 quid. It is 100 quid. So I don't understand why they just sort of... Basically. But yeah, so that's, that's sort of like my gripes with the 400C and why I won't use it. And why I'm actually leaning towards this 570. The 570 is a lot nicer on that one. For example, you can take off the front panel and you don't have to worry about say, breaking clips and stuff. You have to worry about breaking glass, but you don't have to worry about breaking clips. Not only that, but of course, with the 570, you've got a better idea of when you need to clean a computer. Now, you could turn around and say that, actually, you could get the 640. You know, that's, that's got tempered glass front panel, and you can see it, by all means, that might be a better option. But I'm reviewing the 400C here. And in terms of, you know, cleaning, the 570 is actually easier to clean than the 400. So that's my, that's my review of the 400C. Essentially, it's a really amazing case, but there's maybe one or two points that just I just can't live with, basically.